to my channel and thank you so much for being here or if this is your first time thank you for stopping by today we're gonna be adding some touches for spring into our living room space and I'm so excited um, I have a furniture piece that I want to paint add a fresh coat of paint to and give it a little makeover so we're gonna do that together today and then I also have a few updates that I've made in here I redid our bookcase and then I also added like some new curtains and things like that so I'm gonna walk through and give you like a little tour of everything so that you can see some of the little updates and then we're gonna add in some spring touches and the majority of everything is going to be vintage or thrifted that I have just bought over the years so I hope that you enjoy seeing this and that it can give you some inspiration for your own homes for spring and we will get right on into the tour okay before we start decorating I wanted to walk around and share with you a before look at the space and then also how I added the sheet music to that bookcase back there and then some of the changes that we've made and also some of the ideas I have if you haven't seen my last video, definitely go watch that first. I did a video all about our new antique hutch over here in the corner. And we also decorated it together for spring in that video. And I added some spring dishes and florals and things like that to it. So definitely go check out that video if you haven't already to hear all about this new piece. Um, and then another new thing that we've done recently, and I don't think I've shared it on my channel yet, but I did talk about it over on Instagram, but... Finally, we raised these curtains. I have had a lot of y'all tell me and recommend that I should do this for a few years now. Um, the curtains are so expensive and I didn't know exactly what type of curtains I wanted to go with or what kind of rods I wanted to do. So it just took a long time of like thinking about it and planning it. And then we finally did it a few weeks ago and I think it looks so much better. I got just these really simple, they were like the most affordable rods I could find on Amazon and they have like this brass color to them um and they seem to be really good quality and then i also found these curtains for affordable on there and i got them in like this sheer ivory color i really wanted to try to thrift some but it was really hard to find some in the right length i needed i kept finding some that were like 84 inches um but i really needed like over 100 inches long to be able to fit this wall so I did end up ordering those and I can again link them they have like all different colors and again it was some of the most affordable curtains I could find so I was excited to find those on there um and I think they look really nice and then after we raised the rods and got new curtains it really had me inspired to do something new over in this area I just felt like that stark white bookshelf just needed something to make it pop i'll insert before pictures so you can kind of remember what it looked like before um so i asked y'all over on instagram if you had any ideas on what i could do and almost every one of you said wallpaper to wallpaper the back of it um and that would make the pieces and like all the pieces i decorated it with stand out so we researched wallpaper for several days and it was going to end up being kind of expensive and i didn't really even see any that i absolutely loved and the ones that i did love were going to be way more than i wanted to spend for just this small bookshelf so then my husband was just randomly like what if you used some of that sheet music that we found at the yard sale that time and you wallpapered it to the back and i was like that is the best idea ever we had been saving that sheet music that we found last summer to do a project with we just hadn't had an idea of what to do with it yet and when he said that i was like that's the perfect idea so i literally just mod podged it to the back i just painted on some mod podge um i had a few questions too on what that was what mod podge is on instagram and it's just like a little craft glue um where it like leaves everything with a clear coat over it so you can do it with like paper and um, you can seal things with it it's just like a clear gloss um, I can link it below as well but we just did a light layer of Mod Podge and put the sheet music on there and then did a clear coat of Mod Podge over it and I can't even tell you how much I love this I feel like it just adds so much history to it and it really makes this look like a vintage piece which is exactly what I wanted to add more of that like cozy vintage feel over here and then after that I wanted to still paint the rest of the bookcase a color because I felt like again the stark white was just too white and I wanted it to again feel cozy so I ended up picking like this really light it's called honey locust I will insert a picture of the paint swatch here on the screen it's just a Valspar paint from Lowe's 
and I painted the rest of the cabinet with that and it's almost the same color as the walls but it's like more of a creamy beige and then the walls are like a creamy white if that makes sense so it like slightly stands out to more of a different color and I don't know I just feel like it flows so beautifully I love the color and that is what we decided to do for this piece um, I did hang up some art over here I've had that for a long time and I finally decided to hang it right there because the picture or the colors that are in those pictures are what I want to use for the rest of the room they're kind of like my inspiration the blues the greens I love how it's like little farm animals and this little girl is on her farm with her little picket white fence I just think it's the cutest little prints and then I'm gonna be adding in some of those colors with the decor so like for the pillows I'm gonna add on blue pillows to tie in the blue that's in those pictures and then like some greenery plants things like that to add in the green um, I might eventually switch out these sweater pillows for something more springy but just for now I'm gonna use those because it's what I have and I haven't found anything I love until I found something that's like perfect then I'm just gonna leave the sweater ones because it's what I already have and then over here I've had some paint swatches for this piece for a couple weeks now even before we got that new china cabinet that I just showed even before we got that I have been wanting to paint this piece so this is the color I finally decided on it's called ancient marble again it's a Valspar paint and it kind of has like a green tint to it so it's kind of gonna look like a very light sage green and I feel like it's gonna be the perfect color to like match for every season and just to add that pop of color over here so that it's not so stark white and it's gonna add some dimension and a really nice pop of color. So we're gonna paint this together today and let's get started. So I did two coats of this ancient marble paint to the sewing machine cabinet and a tip that I discovered recently after all the furniture that I have painted here lately is use a foam roller for painting furniture that way it gives it a really smooth finish and you don't see the brush strokes so if you have anything to paint like this just grab one of those small foam rollers and it really makes such a beautiful smooth finish and then while we're waiting for that cabinet to dry I'm gonna go over here and start to add in some decor back onto the bookcase I'm gonna of course use lots of books I love to decorate with old books and then I'm gonna add some candlesticks with taper candles um, some baskets some gold frames and then I also have some little pink tulips I'm gonna add into a picture to go on here to add a pop of pink for spring and then I also have this little bunny mold that is actually from TJ Maxx last year and it's not actually vintage but I love how it has that vintage look to it so it adds in that feel over here and I think it is so cute for spring
now that the cabinet's dry, I'm going to go in with some spring touches like this basket and then some more old books. And I tried to really curate the books that I wanted to put on this cabinet um, in the colors that are in those two pictures that I showed you in the beginning. I really wanted to pull the colors out of that over onto this side of the room. So like those blues, some more sage green, um, and even just like some natural kind of tones, like some linen colors with the shades of those books to really kind of tie in that side of the room over here onto this table. Um, so that is kind of where the color scheme for all of this came together. And then I also added a little um, vintage clock that I found at a yard sale back last summer. And I still also wanna add some little crystal knobs to this cabinet. I think that would be a super cute little touch. So we are gonna do that soon. Um, and then next I'm gonna add some little pillows to the couch. And again, I probably will switch out that little sweater pillow closer to like the summer once I eventually find something but for now I think it's just fine and then I'm gonna add some more of those tulips to the coffee table in this vase here that was from Goodwill and then um, those books are thrifted the baskets thrifted from Goodwill and then the little teapot was from a yard sale um, and I will have those tulips linked down below I've had a lot of questions about those as I've shared them in my last few spring videos and they are a really affordable price on Amazon and they're like a um, kind of like a soft smooth type of texture which makes them feel and look really realistic and like I said I can have those linked down below I love how the color of this cabinet came out. It's such a light, subtle green, but it really adds such a nice layer of color over to this corner and it really pulls in that cottage feel. added very much spring over on this wall but I did finally find a home for this picture if you've been following me since around 2020 we found this at a yard sale that year and I had it hanging up for a short period of time but this is a sketch of the first Houchins market which is a store in our area and we got it from somebody local that we love so this is a really special picture but I never felt like it matched with the rest of the decor in the house with the black frame so I finally decided to go for it and to paint this frame a really light blue to really kind of tie in with all the other pastels in the room and I love it so much we just feel like it completely changed the whole look of this picture and just really makes it completely like the style of the rest of the house now um, and then my husband actually found those gold sconces at a thrift store when we were there shopping around he brought them up to me and he was like hey these might look good hanging somewhere in the living room with some of our other gold stuff and I was like oh my gosh they could go beside that picture so it all just kind of came together and I think it turned out really cute I added some blue candles so that that way they would match like the blue of the frame and all of that so I thought that turned out cute and that is how the living room is looking so far for spring make sure that you subscribe because next we're going to be decorating my big hutch for spring and I have a lot of ideas for that piece and then we're also going to be decorating the kitchen but I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you next time